What's going on guys? I'm Sid and welcome back to another video of Sid Travels. In this video I'm going to tell you must do Paris activities that won't cost you a cent. If you are on a budget trip to Paris, these are the things that you can try over there. But why to live in budget when you can put your money to work? That's right, big shout out to Life Traders, a channel which is dedicated to stock market traders and investors. They provide tips, tricks and trainings to get real results. So don't forget to subscribe this channel, link is in the description. That's being said, let's get started with our video. Explore Paris Hidden Passages Walk around Paris long enough and you are bound to stumble on one of the city's hidden treasures. Covered passages leading to tucked away shops, cafes and restaurants. Our favorites are Passage des Panoramas and Galerie Vivine. But with a little research, you will find your own secret spot. Check out the view inside and outside Sacre Coeur. It doesn't matter how many pretty European churches you have visited, there is something memorable about all white hilltop Sacre Coeur. You can download the free audio tour and walk around inside for free. But the real showstopper is the view of the city from the church step. Visit at dusk, buy a beer off one of the street vendors and watch the Eiffel Towers sparkle across the scene. Get the down low from the local guide. One of the best ways to get your beer rings after arriving in a new city is to take a general walking tour, especially if it happens to be free. After a few hours with a guide from Sedeman's New Europe, you will know the city's basic history and will have visited the Notre Dame, the Louvre and the Tuileries Garden. Say hello to Jim Morrison. A visit to the Pierre Lachis Cemetery is perfect for a rainy day if you don't mind getting wet. Huge intricate crypts sit under Asian trees and you can visit the resting place of celebrities like Edith Pilaf. Jim Morrison and Oscar Wilde. Walk above the city on an abandoned railroad track. Kolei Worth or the Promenade Plenty was around way before New York's High Line. But like the High Line, this park sits on an old railroad track above the city streets. It runs from Bastille to one of the city's largest parks, Bois de Vincennes. Picnic at the base of Eiffel Tower. It's hard to top a picnic below the Eiffel Tower, but the pros know timing is everything. Set up your picnic at dusk and pop a bottle of champagne when the Eiffel Tower starts twinkling. It lights up every hour starting at dark. Eat free samples at French street markets. The French are not afraid to make a day out of grocery shopping and to get the best products at the best price, they will make several stops. Cheese comes from an actual cheese shop. Bread is bought at a bakery and meat is picked from a butcher. You can find all the samples on Drew Moftar. And if you are lucky, you will score a few free samples too. Climb an artificial cliff overlooking an artificial lake. Tourists flock to the Louvre adjacent Le Jardin des Tuileries. But any local knows the best park in Paris is Parc des Boutes Chaumont. You will find plenty of Persians sprawled out on the green grassy slopes. But before you settle in, cross the bridge to the cliff top temple, the La Sibylle, inspired by Italy's Temple of Vesta. Window shop on Champs Elysees. You may not be able to buy anything on Paris' ultra fancy shopping street, but it's too picturesque to miss. Either fashion and fancy cars, then run to the middle of the street to get a photo in the front of the Arc de Triomphe. Get your art on the Paris Museum of Modern Art. Conveniently located between two other free Paris to do's, that is Champs Elysees and the Eiffel Tower, you can get a dose of culture and save a few bucks by visiting the museum's permanent collections for free. Don't forget to download the complimentary audio guide before you go. Throw a few back on the banks of scene. Find a spot with a view of a Notre Dame. Bum a wine opener and watch the sunset while recounting your day over a bottle of Bulldogs. The people watching is hard to beat and if you walk along the banks around the dark, you will see the bridges light up. Create your own street art tour. 
you need to pay 15 euros to visit a museum. But the streets of Paris are full of art that reflects the world today and they are free. Street art can be found all over the city but a good place to start are the 11th and 20th arrondissements which are the districts of Oberkampf, Belleville and Manil Montant. Go museum crazy on free museum day. On the first Sunday of every month, a handful of city's best museums are completely free. You can pursue modern art at the center of Popidio before dropping to Musi di Orsay without spending a dollar. So this was my list. I hope you enjoyed it. If there's anything that I missed that you think should be on the list, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.